guys so i've got a complete banger for you in this video we are watching the nawaya in a way versus yosbani vaitia fight this is the third round of the 2011 world amateur boxing championships in baku now guys with the scheduled matchup the nawaya has with marlon tapeles for the undisputed spot at super bantam weight which has actually been scheduled for a december the 26th date there's also some talk about a possible future bout against Cuba's Rabezi Ramirez. This will be at the featherweight weight class limit. This is also one upward weight class move for Nawaya. Okay, so I'm going to provide my thoughts and opinions at the end. Right guys, let's get into the action. Enrique has it all to do here. Fietia of Cuba. Little older, little more experienced. And we'll have the confidence knowing that the last time these two boxers met in the junior ranks of world competition, he became out ahead of Japan. And it was a pretty impressive victory. It was 11-0 in the preliminaries. And of course, the Cubans, the most successful of all the amateur boxers in world championship competition and still developing strength and depth in their squads everybody remembers Felix Savon six times a world champion Stevenson three times a world champion Herrera three times a world champion some of the great names of Cuban boxing from yesteryear this is one of their young rising stars Good to see the Japanese boxer in blue start positively and start in a manner as if he wants to revenge. Uh, whitewash in the World Juniors. What's interesting to note is that the Japanese boxer in blue knocked out one of the seeded boxers from Armenia, the sixth ranked boxer from Armenia in his preliminary rounds. So he's had a good start to his first senior world championships, age 17 to 34, of course, the age category for this competition. But equally, for the Cuban in the red, two very impressive preliminary rounds. Progressing to this round of 16 with relative ease. Just a slight height advantage from the Japanese boxer. Looks to have a slightly longer reach as well as we see him just putting out the jab there. The referee saying, come on guys, let's See some boxing. Covering up well, the Cuban. Getting a couple of jabs through the defence there. And again for Vieta. Closely matched as we count down from 25 seconds in this opening round. Both boxers a little cautious in this opening round of three. Japan in blue, Cuba in the red. And the judges agree, four to four. All tied after the first round. Well, 
these uh, two teenagers. Perhaps the form book says that uh, Josbani Vieta of Cuba has had the better results, particularly with that Pan American Youth Championships gold medal. But uh, Nayoa Iniki really did have a great start to the competition. And that's uh, done his confidence, the power of good, coming into this round of 16. But is it playing in the back of his mind that the Cuban knocked him out of the World Juniors a year ago? There's a scoring from the five judges. As we said earlier, highest and lowest taken out. The average of the other three gives us the scores. All tied at 4-4. Into the second round, Cuba in the red corner, Japan in the blue. Here's Bani Vieta boxing for the Cuban team and Inike of Japan. His opponent has a good shot from Nayawa. Japanese boxer seems to have fired up the Cuban as well. This is a little more like it. And as the Japanese boxer tries to counter the Cuban, the opening is found and the points are scored. Holding the warning from the referee. Nice body shot there from the Cuban. And now Inui comes back. Getting to the target there with the one to the Cuban boxer. Just over a minute to go in this second round. And again, both boxers evenly matched here. There's a good jab. Another good hook, I should say, from Vietia. Target locking well, both boxes now. Good support in the crowd for the Japanese fighter. And counting down to the last few seconds of round two. And once again, difficult to separate these two. Tying <laughs> off the first round, 4-4. Four, four. And just one ahead for the Cuban in the second round, 10-9. Just one point in it. It's anybody's for the taking, this bout. And just drawing one point... Ahead, Yosbani Vieta on your screens. There's a lovely left hook. Not all of them hitting the target, but our director just trying to show where that one advantage point score was taken. A little bit of work for Anui to do now. Naoya Anui of Japan, just 18 years of age. Hietia has that one point advantage, 10 to 9. And that has fired up 
Inui from Japan in the blue corner to come out for this third and final round and try and take that one point advantage away. No matter what the outcome, the Japanese coaches will be delighted with the performance of Inui. That defeat of a year ago clearly out of his mind, right behind him. Vietje must keep the momentum going now. Good jab. And the hook again hits the target for the Cuban. Work rate needs to be picked up by both boxers, but right now the Cuban looks to be ahead. We've passed the halfway mark now. One and a quarter seconds left. One minute, 25 seconds left, I should say. Because Bene Vietia from Cuba, from the Villa Clara. Sure, his corner will be making it quite clear that it's not done and dusted just yet. Minute to go. Two good point scoring left for oh, and Inui just losing his balance. Not a knockdown there. Now counting down from 25 seconds. Both athletes showing their strength, stamina, trying to raise their game. Again, this bout has been very close. It's here now. Throwing some good shots towards the end of this third and final round. That's it. That was Benny Vietia for Cuba in the red. Inui for Japan in the blue on the right of your screens. One point advantage off the second round for the Cuban coming into the third. by three points 15 to 12. We'll be here. okay guys so that was a good fight to watch in which we see now I are as an amateur boxing at a high level now taking a closer look at now I are as an amateur we can see that you know he is not as refined as he currently is as a pro and you know this is to be expected you know he spent more time in the game as a pro so i'm by no means downplaying how he fought as an amateur but what i am saying is and is largely the focal point of how i contrast you know the milestones that Naoya has passed through as an amateur and a pro is that when he fights as an amateur it looks like he uses direct attacks and then when he's in close, he throws without that much placement. Contrasting this to how he fights as a pro, he seems to have much more versatility with his direct attacks. Throws considerably, you know, accurate punches when he's in close. You know, targets the body, you know, has a particular focal alignment with his attacks when he's in close. Scored many of his 
knockdowns with liver shots. And he just possesses a greater heightened sense of anticipation for what his opponent might throw back at him. And because of this, he seems to be ready with two to three counters for his opponent's attacks. So this is really my take on how I see Nawaya as an amateur. Um, and you know contrasting that to how I see him as a pro so guys let me know what you think within the comment section I hope you've obviously enjoyed watching this particular update smash that like button if you have enjoyed this review leave a comment in the comment section for anything you might want to add you know if there's anything that you see within his game as an amateur and this particular video will help boxers that are currently amateurs trying to progress to the pros it gives them a different perspective because obviously the 12 round fight is something that you need to prepare for and you need to have more targeted punches to hurt your opponent that's why it's called the hurt business you know amateurs you can score punches in all different target zones and not really have this debilitating effect on your opponent. You can just score points without thinking about trying to break them down. So guys, that's my take. That's the end of the video. And you know, until my next one, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.